Hi there. It's Wednesday, 7 p.m. My gosh, I'm under the lights at the wrong place, huh? <laughs> so, how are you tonight? I hope well. So, for tonight, do you hear that click, click, click behind me? I just walked in from the kitchen and threw some enchiladas that I found in the freezer. Yay! Um, in the toaster, toaster oven, warming them up for dinner. Yay. I love freezer food when there's a whole bunch going on. <laughs> so, um, just wanted to tell you a quick reminder. Let me flip this around one sec. Um, one quick reminder, the Christmas countdown project kits have come in for class. I have three of you coming and I have four boxes so let me show you what this looks like there's also going to be some bonuses with it the class is $45 so if you want that last seat um, class is from 10 to 1 if you want that last seat please let me know quickly um, you need to let me know by tomorrow night okay let me fill up your background all right so Without anything else, let's see, the only other thing I know about is the Paper Pumpkin Kit is, um, for next month, is going to be full-size cards. I believe it's 12 cards, correct me if I'm wrong, but it was in the newsletter, and I'm trying to remember right now. It was at least 12 cards, full-size, and it's um, Berry Something is the theme, so... They look cute, and the kind of, it's the theme, since it's December, it's the theme of something not Christmas, because you should already be done, and something that's just comfortable, nice, snuggly, warm, because, it, I don't know about you, but it's been a little bit of an incredible year. So, without anything else, I'm going to flip you around, and we're going to get to creating, so hold on. One second here. Gonna get you up in the stand. And voila! Um, so uh, let's see here. Let's set up the computer and get things moving for you. Um tonight we're gonna be creating some coordinating projects with the celebration labels dies. I do have them pre-cut out and ready to go. Uh, let's see here. Alrighty. Yeah, it looks like I don't have anybody on with me. So if you do join me, please say hello. And let's see here. So for tonight, I am going to be creating with these lovely celebration labels dies. Um, the 15 is how many pieces are in there. So when I'm cleaning up from a class, I know how many should be in here. So just one of my little things that I do. So that is the main thing. We've got our, already got them pre-cut out, ready to go. So we're going to be creating a card and... Um, a bag topper and I'm gonna also show you how to create a tag with them and then um, we'll get to those enchiladas huh <laughs> so um, I do have a brand new stamp set that will be available in January for the new catalog hey Cheryl how are you hun uh, it's called heal your heart and I'm pretty sure you can't read the small words at least so I'm going to do that for you. So we're in this together. I can't promise to always fix your problems, but I can promise you won't ever face them alone. Sorry for your loss. I don't know what I would do without you. Wishing I could heal your heart and thank you. So gorgeous, gorgeous fonts as well as words to go with this. So um, Jode, if you ever catch this on the replay, because I know you're not on right now, um, this is the set I thought about when you were talking about your friend 
with the sun for COVID. So anyways, okay? But I know you've got some sets right now, but this is what I'm thinking about in January. So um, without anything else, I'm going to get to creating. So what I've done tonight, because I don't know about you, but it's been a hectic week. Um, so tonight I cut out some labels and I'm going to do a quick card and show you how to do a bag topper and also instruct you on how to do a tag real quick and show you some really cool product that I found and what I'm going to use it for. Hey Iris, how are you? Yes, it is a pretty set. It's a very elegant, very simple, um, what it's intended for, we'll just say. All right, so um, we're going to do a quick card and tell you about some product and what I'm going to use it for and then the bag topper that coordinates with it. So shall we begin? So what I've done here is I grabbed myself a piece of thick, very vanilla um, cardstock and this is cut at five and a half by eight and a half, scored at four and a quarter. I have the valley side going out and my mountains are going to get hidden, okay? Like I said, super simple tonight because, for one, I haven't done craft fairs, so my little box that has punch outs and mats and different things is kind of, um, not overflowing, but getting there. So I thought, let me pull some out of there. So I did cut out the labels, but all the other frills and whatnot, I can tell you where they came from. But, you know, it is what it is, right? All right, so um, this card, I have the thick vanilla base. I've cut out two celebration labels dies. Now, they're stitched on the side, so you want to make sure that you get the side that is more smooth or indented vice the side that they're coming up through. Okay, um, it just tends to look more finished that way. So I've got a piece of Cajun craze cut out, and these are the mid-sized ones, and a piece of the early espresso cut out. Okay, and then <laughs> you're gonna laugh because I bet you, Cheryl, you will at least. I don't know if Iris will, but I've got this is from a paper pumpkin kit way back when. There were probably extras of these and I chucked them in. And then I've got a label from a paper pumpkin. And if this doesn't fit right, we'll figure it out, no problem. And then I've got some punch out vellum leaves. So that's going to be my card. And we'll see what we come up with, right? So I'm grabbing my Stampin' Seal Plus. I have transitioned from Stamp and Seal to Stamp and Seal Plus. Main reason being is it doesn't booger as much. Um, if you got a perfect roll, it was great, but it didn't always happen that way. We'll just say it that way, huh? So I think now that hides too much of it. So we're going to put this here. And my stitching is going that way, so I need to put my glue here. Now, because this is Stampin' Seal Plus, it's stronger, which means you actually don't need to use as much of it. So, in the grand scheme of things, it's kind of a wash on how much it is, because if you don't use as much, guess what happens? You don't have as much going on to your cardstock now, do you? So... All right, so I'm gonna untangle some of these vellum guys. Now what I've done here, I'm gonna put a couple more swipes of the seal. And what I've done here is I've grabbed here and I'm just going to put a few of these around, okay? I just thought it would go well with the theme of the leaves. Now, if we're not measuring and it goes past like that one is, I'm just going to trim. No problem. Okay. If I could get them untangled would be the trick. So, so 
So I've got that one there. So I'm just throwing a few. Now, if you do not have these punch outs from before, you can easily stamp some little leaves. You can grab the holly berry thing from, <laughs> I figured you would, Cheryl. Um, you can grab the holly berry thing from the poinsettia dies, no problem. So I think we're just gonna do like that. I know, it's off center, it's different than what I normally do, and it is okay. Can't always look the same, right? So there we go. Just a little bit different. I'm gonna put those extra leaves up there because you never know, right? And I am grabbing my early espresso and let's see. Um, I'm gonna do. Hmm, I'm gonna do thank you on here. Now, some of the swirls might not completely because fit because it is a little bit bigger, but good enough for me. It's okay. So this is gonna go here like this, and I think I'm gonna pop that up. So I'm using the black dimensionals simply because I, I got just a few left and I want it off my table. But something to note that I've realized, the black dimensionals are a little bit harder to peel. And I'm not sure why, but it's just something to note. So if you're doing Christmas cards and trying to get a whole bunch done, you might want to just um, hang tight and do the regular ones, okay? The black ones are really good for when you've got close to the edge and it's all a very dark card. So there's my card. Now this card is probably gonna go to club and this card is definitely going to my team. Here's why, okay? So I've got the similar, I thought I was gonna drop them in ink, the similar leaves. I have got three labels. Now, I took some vellum and cut it just the same and then um, embossed it in the hammered, okay? Um, so there's that. So I'm just gonna lay these across and lay this across and then before I do all this though, I'm gonna score these down the middle and this is gonna become my bag topper for my clear envelope, which is gonna have my card and my other thing that I need to explain to you in just a second. So first, we're gonna stamp, we're in this together, right on here. Hopefully it's not crooked, yay! Pretty good. All right, and then I'm gonna move those. I'm done with my ink, so I'm gonna close it up before it gets on anything. Thank you, Cheryl. I did, I liked how the colors came together and I was like, I kept looking at those punch outs and I'm like, I gotta use them. So, all right, so now you can measure if you would like, but I'm gonna be honest with you. I went like this and I took the die and I went like this and I went, oh, that's perfect. Okay, done now, right? <laughs> so here's what we are doing. I am grabbing my die, my cutout, and instead of having to measure, hey, guess what? There's a notch right there and there's a notch right there and that looks like the middle to me. So I'm gonna put this down right in the middle of that groove where everything runs. And I'm gonna grab my scoring blade, make sure to stay on the light side, we don't wanna go to the dark side, and I'm just gonna score that middle, okay? And I'm gonna do the same with, that was early espresso. This one is Cajun Craze. And these are all stepped down with sizes, and what I mean by that is, hold on, I had to think for a second. 
Um, with the vellum, try not to push quite as hard because you don't want to tear. Yeah, fall colors are gorgeous, aren't they? So, so I'm going to fold this in half just like we scored. I'm going to fold this in half, and I can't see the score as well, so I'm going to go by the notch more so. You got to be a little careful with this because it will um, pop a little bit, shall we say, um, because that embossing, vellum's already a very fragile um, paper, and then if you emboss it, it breaks it down further, so you just got to be a little careful with it, and if it tears a little bit, not a big deal. We have another layer going over and you're going to glue this down because you're going to have other stuff on top so it's going to hold it down pretty well okay so if i can find my stamp and seal that is right in front of me okay so i'm grabbing my stamp and seal oh and i have to say while i'm talking to you guys thank you for hanging with me there's been some changes going on in the business because, well, I got to do some shifting so I can continue to grow and stay alive and not have to get another job. <laughs> um, things have definitely changed since COVID. Um, and it's not necessarily a bad thing. It's just it changes, right? So... And I'm trying to keep that in mind. So when it changes, like for instance, our in-person classes, I, I love the group we have right now. I love that it's a little bit smaller, but a little bit smaller means, guess what? It's a little bit smaller. So I'm having to consolidate some sessions and then figure out what else I can do to kind of make things keep going. And it's not so much the funds, but it's the fact that I had set some goals to make trip and continue to grow the business. And so I want to continue to do that. So that's the why. So there's our three layers. Kind of cool looking, right? So, um, so yeah, so we've deleted some Tuesday sessions that I had like one or two people come to. And then, um, what else have we done? Uh, just a couple changes. We'll be okay. We all will survive. I'm convinced of that after 14 years, I've done a lot of changes. If you haven't been with me that long, um, we have definitely had our share of changes going from hobbyist with five people to um, all the way up to, I think it's 300 and something now. Um, so it's definitely changed and I've had to adjust <laughs> and it's okay. But just now I'm here, I'm here to answer questions and it's just what it is and Usually I can see the shifts coming, but I'll be honest with you, this um, whole pandemic mess has um, shifted a lot, a little faster than I thought it would. We're just going to say it that way. So it's okay. No problem. Alrighty. So we've got that going. And then you're probably wondering, what product do I have? What's going on, right? Okay. So I'm going to be teaching um, at the next card class. We're going to be doing a masked card. Masked. M-A-S-C-M-A-S-K-E-D. Masked. And I don't mean mask like goes on your face. I'm talking masked like cover a piece so you can stamp over overlay and not have the two pieces like jam up against each other. So, <laughs> hey, hey Linda, how are you? Um, just finishing up, hon. So the masking thing, I've always taught it with post-its 
and sure enough you know the edge will pop up or something or you won't hold it down exactly perfect and then you'll end up with a little bit of ink under so I found something so for the club thank yous y'all are gonna get these and then you know you'll have to wait till card class to be able to um, figure out what I'm talking about for those of you on my team you will be a week or two shy, meaning you will get these um, during our team gathering and you'll actually get a project with it. So this is part of the way I say thanks for being part of club and then part of how I say thanks for being part of team, right? So these are post-its. Do you see the little hatched line down there? That is the only part that does not have adhesive. The entire sheet is sticky. So when you go to mask something, the entire sheet sticks down. So it's kind of cool, right? Because you don't have to worry about stuff flipping up and ink going under and that kind of thing. So, hence why we're getting these. So I ordered a whole bunch of them and I'm going to share with you. So this is what this is going to look like. However, what do I need? An envelope. And that's what I forgot to grab. So hold on. Let me grab one. A regular envelope, rather. All right. Regular envelope. And then I didn't stamp the back of my card, so I have to do that. So hold on. So that way you guys know that I did whatever I'm supposed to do, right? You made your Christmas countdown. We'll post it on the page, my dear. Awesome. I'm glad it worked out. You know, I got so many other ideas now for that. Um, not only being a Christmas countdown, but an organizer box for jewelry, hopefully not an organizer box for your meds, because if you need 25 drawers, we're in trouble, huh? Um, but organizer box for embellishments, countdown for, oh, I don't know, the guys coming home from deployment, welcome to my world, right? Um, let's see, what else, what else, what else? There's so many different ideas, countdown to a baby shower, countdown to a wedding, pretty much anything you want to keep track of. So now I'm going to throw these in here. Okay. And we're going to tear off the glue so it seals shut. Now look at this. Isn't this pretty? And it goes. It totally matches with this, right? Too cute, right? So how am I going to seal this? Simply with stamp and seal, I think. I think, I think. Now, pay attention though, because, all right, one of the problems with stamp and seal, plus if you push too hard, it takes the paper with. That's how strong it is. So, and once you've torn that spot, don't go back. Don't go back. Don't go back. You got to make sure because it'll just keep tearing. That's why I'm saying what I'm saying, okay? And then you can't open this fully because I've glued everything folded. So we're just gonna do what we gotta do and keep it going. So I'm gonna put this as high or as low as you want. For me, I'm gonna put it right as the straight part of the label comes through if that makes sense to you guys. And I'm gonna put one more up here so it sticks together. And we're just gonna lay this down here. And there you go. So, I've got my bag topper. Oh, I forgot to tell you. So, there's one other size smaller, I believe. And what you would do to make a tag is simply Cut the middle part, punch a hole in it, and then do whatever you want to do. So 
there you go there's your three sorry i forgot to tell you about the tag so this is going to be my thank you for club cheryl now you know so you will get a set of what they're called full adhesive post-it notes and you will be able to mask and do what you need to do so that is the thank you for club and look at this huh pretty pretty i'm not sure all the labels are going to be different but um i don't know just pretty all right so thanks so much for joining me follow me stampinwithjohnny.com and have a great night talk to you soon bye bye